When a company uses a product mascot, it becomes a character that represents the brand. So as expected, this character has to be appealing both appearance-wise and personality-wise, even if they only have a few seconds to show that personality. However, sometimes these characters end up looking a bit weird, and not just weird, but creepy. Sometimes unintentionally, sometimes intentionally. While a creepy mascot is not always negative because it gets the attention of the public, you don't want your brand to be misrepresented. A funny example of this is a Sprite commercial from the late 1990s. This was an ad for a fictional juice drink Sunfizz, where the mascot leaped out of the label, but in a twist, the children and their mother were frightened by it, not only by how overly cute it was with that voice and those eyes, but also the fact that it just came to life out of nowhere. This commercial parodies the problem with some of the mascots I'll be discussing. So let's take a look at some of the creepiest mascots, whether it was intended or not. Oh, Buster Brown, what did they do to your eyes? This is the top 10 creepiest product mascots. Number 10, The Michelin Man. No, 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 not the modern one. He's fine, even though it looks like he should be advertising whipped cream or marshmallow fluff or something like that. No, I'm talking about the original Michelin Man, who was sometimes a guy in a rubber suit, but other times, his face was completely artificial. That blank expression, just staring at you. I gotta say it's created for the time, but he kinda looked like a low-budget 1940s horror movie monster. I know there are much creepier things I could be covering, but considering the time, seeing this guy without any context might be a bit unnerving. Just remember, modern Michelin Man? A-okay. Older one? Maybe could've used a little more work. Just look at this family right here. Don't worry guys, you can use my intestines as part of your car. Number 9. Crinkles the Clown of Sugar Rice Crinkles. This guy has the worst luck with snapshots. I have nothing against clowns, but anytime you freeze frame the commercial or just look at the Rice Crinkles print ads, his face is always so expressive in a creepy fashion. Look at him on the box. It looks like he's mid-slow-mo demonic villain laugh. Ha 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 ha. And it looks like he really likes to widen his eyes in the commercials as much as possible, which I guess entertains the kids. They love an uneven eyelid to eyeball ratio. But screenshots aside, the commercial with this guy wasn't creepy at all. I mean, it makes sense, a clown for a sugary cereal. I don't think Post would want a creepy mascot that would scare their target audience, and everyone else. Plus, hearing his voice, it's actually a great radio voice. It's the kind of voice you'd want to read you a bedtime story. It's almost unexpected. And because of that, I can't put him too high on this creepy list. Still, his creepy attributes do not show up well on the box. And how does he keep that hat on? That's not how gravity works. Just ask Sandra Bullock. Number 8. The Gobble Doc of the Australian potato chip brand, Smith's. He seems innocent enough, overly adorable voice, and he kinda looks like a gremlin or a muppet. But his animatronic design comes off as a bit creepy to me. But here's what's the most disturbing part. This creature spies on you when he knows you have potato chips. And just because he's an alien from the planet Potato does not make that a valid excuse. Also, yeah, that's his backstory. He's from the planet Potato. I mean, what's going on in this image right here? You know, if you just turned your head a bit and saw this face looking at you, I think you'd be a little spooked. But no, 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 that's alright. Just continue acting cute with your 90s boy band hair. Number 7, the Kinder Surprise mascot. No, it's not this guy. Or maybe it is. It's a mascot that looks like this guy, but he's human, but at the same time still an egg. You know what? It's this guy. He was only used once. I think you can see why. I get it. He's Humpty Dumpty. But I don't remember Humpty Dumpty being a human in the shape of an egg. He was just an egg. Man. I don't want to talk about this anymore. He ends the commercial by falling off the wall, as Humpty Dumpty does in the nursery rhyme, except for this guy looks happy when he does that. Oh sure, joyously fall off the wall and make all the king's horses and all the king's men work to put you back together again. You know what? It's a Saturday. They deserve a day off once in a while, but no. You have fun. Number 6. Chester Cheetah. It's not the one from the 90s and early 2000s. He's actually a pretty basic advertising icon of the 90s who's cool. Anthropomorphic animal, wears sunglasses, probably skateboards. However, in 2007, Cheetos wanted to rebrand itself to an adult audience. Makes sense. So, they kept Chester Cheetah, but made him an old man live-action puppet thing that encourages people to use Cheetos not only as a delicious snack, but also as a revenge tool. This Chester Cheetah is not creepy in his appearance, just in his mannerisms. He's not all friendly-like. He's kind of disturbing to an extent. He's always off to the corner, speaking in a raspy, quiet voice, like an evil conscious, if that makes sense. He ends one commercial by saying, Give Daddy a kiss, to a bird that he's holding. 
He always encourages people to get revenge on someone who's antagonizing them, like someone insulting them in their town, someone taking their clothes out of the dryer at the laundromat, someone snoring on a plane. Was that guy really doing something wrong enough to justify sticking Cheetos up his nose? Anyway, apparently an antagonistic Chester Cheetah wasn't reaching the right demographic, or so it seems, since they took old man Chester Cheetah and made him a bit more approachable, while still keeping the quiet, raspy voice. To explain this in a confusing manner, new new old man Chester Cheetah is significantly less creepy than old new old man Chester Cheetah. Great. Number 5. The Midas Hand for Midas Car Repair The first time I saw this guy, it was on a flyer in my mail, and the smile he had in the ad just looked a little... manic. Then I saw a commercial where he moved and spoke. His voice actually isn't bad, but his looks are just so... I don't know, something about him doesn't feel right. He also has knuckles on the back of his head. Sure, that makes sense because he's a hand, but when you think about it, that's his head, and nobody has knuckles on the back of their head. That's just weird. Additionally, in one of the commercials, he says he'll drive the customer to Midas, but then realizes he cannot drive because he's a disembodied hand. But why did he have to attempt to drive in that commercial right then to realize that he could not drive a car because he has no arms or legs? Did he just turn into a hand five minutes before the commercial? I'm assuming he's been a hand his entire life. A hand who works at an auto repair shop, may I remind you. So he likely has had ample opportunities to drive a car and learn that it is impossible for him to drive a car due to the fact he is a hand and only a hand. Forget how weird this guy looks, he can't even remember information about himself. That's like you 101 right there. Number 4. The Little Baby's Ice Cream Mascot. If it's even a mascot, I'm counting it as one. And once again, no, it's not the little guy you see on the screen right now. I have no words for what I'm about to show. Well, actually I do because commentary is a key part of these lists. Behold, the ice cream person, I think. I can't emulate this commercial with just images, but I'm gonna have to. This is a person made of or covered in ice cream who is eating her head as she stares at the screen, never blinking, but sometimes widening her eyes as much as possible. Okay, I'm sure you don't want to keep looking at this image, so uh, here you go. All the narrator does during the commercial is just describe how much he loves eating little baby's ice cream and how it makes him feel so good. And just to add to how uncomfortable this ad is supposed to make you feel, there's twisted circus music playing in the background during the commercial. There's another commercial where this ice cream person is holding an infinite number of herself on an ice cream cone. This is meant to be creepy. So it works. It got me intrigued in an ice cream place that I don't live anywhere near. So, good job. Number 3. The Quiznos Subs Hamster Things. Why Quiznos? Why? This was something that was popular on the internet in 2003 that Quiznos decided to get the rights to to use in their commercials and then have them sing about their subs. I understand bringing internet fads to advertising, but why these? Was this really the most popular thing they could have licensed in 2003? Was this the most marketable? So their gimmick is that they sing badly. And they're ugly. Appealing? Why? I can't ask it enough. To bring this to the eyes of every demographic is highly questionable. They're freaky to those not accustomed to the internet, which is why they're so high on this list. And this was also in 2003 when it was hard to go viral, so I doubt many people knew the source. This was the first time many of us were even seeing these guys. Number 2, the Lemonheads mascot. Clearly, it is not the little lemon guy on the logo. If it was this guy, we would have no problem and be treating Lemonheads as that candy that just kind of exists. It's not that popular, but it's not an obscure brand. Here is the thing that they released as their social media mascot. When I looked up mascots for this list, I would have never expected the classic candy brand Lemonheads to show up anywhere. But here it is at number 2. Who thought it would be a good idea to make the guy in the logo look realistic? It's also the fact that his eyes can squint. And that he looks like he never talks. And that he has a perfectly normal human body. Does the brand know that this is unsettling or is this all part of the plan? I'm talking about Lemonheads solely because of the mascot for example. Didn't I just say they're not the most popular brand? Is this working? Answer me, you rubber lemon mask. Number one. So for many of these mascots not part of a current company campaign, their time was either short-lived or they were remodeled to look more friendly. But this one, this number one, was in a campaign that lasted for eight years. Eight years, despite the numerous comments about how creepy this guy looked. Eight years, Burger King. Why the king? Well, that actually makes sense. Throughout its history, Burger King had a king as its mascot, fitting the name. Of course he went through some changes, but in 2003, Burger King decided to bring back the old 80s design of the king, in the form of a plastic mask. 
He also never speaks. However, he does more than just stand there. He finds you and hunts you down, or just sleeps in your bed or stalks you outside your house. Don't worry though, he doesn't want to do anything more than just give you Burger King food. He's something out of a horror movie since he moves, but never takes off that mask or speaks. I was never sure if Burger King wanted us to believe this was a guy in a mask or if this was just some form of the king, but he looked really weird. Okay, I'm analyzing this too much. The point is that he spies on you, doesn't talk, has an ambiguous background, and had a video game where the goal was to sneak up on people and give them Burger King food. He's someone you don't want to meet in real life since he gives off signs of someone you'd call the cops on. It's the Burger King! Is he the creepiest? Or are there creepier product mascots out there? Let me know! Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.